secret that men frequently visit the coffee house for more than a cup of coffee. In our coffee house, they often go to talk and to listen to the wise sheikh who, from time to time, retells the stories of Nasruddin Hocha. Here is a book with the right ideas. Reading is good for everyone. Listen to what it says. Right here. The ideal state must own everything, business and industry and farms. Also, it must control all art and science. Practices that divide people, like free enterprise and religion and different political parties, would be forbidden. Everybody would be free to serve the all-powerful state and share in the blessings of its power. That is nonsense. Did you say nonsense? Yes, I said nonsense. Hamid, why would a radical system like this help our country? Eh. Because that's just what it says, right here, in the book of my party. Your vision, Hamid, is based on a little bit of knowledge. What you do not have to guide your actions is long-term experience. By feeling one leg of a strange beast, could you describe the whole animal? An animal, Effendi? Yes, Burhan. I was remembering something Nasruddin Hocha once taught, long ago. Sit down, Hamid. Listen to this story called A Lesson from the Hocha, and try to understand how it might apply to you. Long ago, when Nasruddin Hocha was teaching in his village, three of the older boys decided that they needed no more schooling and much more time to enjoy themselves, which made life miserable for the villagers. Delighted with their mischief, the boys spared no one, not even the Hocha himself. Patient villagers decided the boys had gone too far and must be punished. But the Hocha had other advice. I really believe the trouble with these boys is that their little bit of learning has gone to their heads. Clearly, they think themselves far wiser than their elders. They must be taught that true wisdom comes from experience. The villagers wondered how this could be done, and the Hocha had an answer. Tomorrow afternoon, 
I will give these foolish boys a lesson from the Hocha. Oh, my goodness. Next day in the village square, Nasruddin made a strange bargain with the three blindfolded boys. You feel you are clever enough to obey no one and do just as you please. Very well, let us test your wisdom by bringing a strange animal here before you. Each of you may feel it with your hands. Then, if you can describe the whole animal clearly, you are free to play your days away but if you cannot, you must go to work helping your fathers. Of course, the boys were very confident of their own abilities. And as soon as they had agreed, the Hocha decided the lesson could begin. Nasruddin and the villagers looked on. The first boy groped his way forward and finally clasped his arms about a thick leg. I know. The animal is tall and round, like a tree. <laughs> when the second boy found the animal, his hands reached out and took its measure. This is easy. The animal is broad and flat like a wall. <laughs> the largest boy was just starting forward when something round and twisting brushed against him. It's a snake. This animal is a big snake, Hocha. You are trying to kill us. And with that, Nasruddin signaled for the animal to leave. Now the boys fell to violent arguing. The first insisted that the animal must be tall and round. The next knew it was broad and flat while the biggest boy was positive that the animal must be like a snake. And the biggest boy, who spoke loudest, won the argument. Like all the villagers, the Hocha was well satisfied. Now see how wrong you were? You are young, I know, and perhaps have never seen an elephant before. But you were quite ready to say what it would look like, even though you had felt only part of this animal. Remember, true knowledge and wisdom come only after long experience. Now go home. You have had your lesson from the Hocha. The lesson of the Hocha still applies to us all, Hamid. So be careful about putting your faith in the radical new ideas which you read in one or two books. There are countless others, don't forget, which recommend the wisdom of long experience. Perhaps before you decide, you would do well to read all the facts. That is what the Hocha taught, and it makes good sense.